What's up, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamari G. Today we're doing the DC6 box on Vone Hub. If you missed any of the boxes in the DC series, I will leave a link in the description bar down below so you can go check it out as well as a card up here. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the description for this machine. It says, the ultimate goal of this challenge is to get the root flag and read that flag. Coming down to your technical information, you're gonna make sure to add your IP address of your machine and Wordy to the host file so you can actually exploit this machine. Coming down to the clue section, it's just gonna cat out the Rocky password list, grep it, adding K01 to each of each password, and then outputting it to a file passwords.txt. It'll look just like this. Less and go passwords.txt. So now you see you have pink01, jack01, nick01, tink01, and then for so on. So let's go ahead and get the recon started for this machine. Recon.sh. I call it DC6. IP address 192.168.0.177. Press enter. And again, this tool will be linked in the description bar down below in my GitHub. Pretty simple tool. Just automate the recon. Does an in-map scan, in-map vulnerability, go buster, Nikito, all that fun stuff. Just to automate the recon. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and look at the recon that we got back right now. So we see a port 22 open for SSH. That's awesome. We have port 80 HTTP open. We have a WordPress application on that HTTP site with a WordPress service version 2. So let's go ahead and note that service version down right now. WordPress 5.11. There we go. Note that down. Let's go actually see what this WordPress application is working with right now. We'll go over here, go to Wordy. Give it a second to load. So it says Wordy, just another WordPress site. Let me resize it so you guys can see it clearly. So it says, Welcome to Wordy, a world leader in the area of WordPress plugins and security. At Wordy, we just know how important it is to secure plugins, and for this reason, we endeavor to provide the most secure and up to date plugins that are available on the market. So, they're really talking about their plugins a lot. That's probably gonna be something we're gonna exploit just because they talk about it and brag about it so much. Let's go over to About Us. So, at About Us, it says, At Wordy, we employ only the best developers so that we can provide you with the most secure plugins. Our lead developer, Jens D, has over 20 years of experience with PHP development and 18 months of experience in deploying secure WordPress plugins. You can put your faith in us. So we have a potential username right there being Jens. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna exploit the WordPress plugins because they're talking about it so much and they're bragging about it. Let's go ahead and see what our in-map scan is giving back to us now. So with the in-map scan, we did a vulnerability scan. We can see some information about HTTP, that's pretty cool. But coming down here with something even better, we actually have some usernames that have already been found, such as admin, Graham, Mark, Sarah, Jins as suspected, test, and tester. So let's go ahead and create that right there. We'll go CD back into the file actually in the directory. There we go. And we'll call this YouTube, there we go, DC6. Entering it all wrong right there. There we go. We're gonna call it sublimeusers.txt. And we're gonna to to float each of those over there. So we'll go back over here. We got we have users admin, Graham, Sarah. There we go. We have Mark2, Mark, and then we have Jins and Test and Tester. Test and tester. There we go. Save that right there. So I'm gonna come over here, and since we're using a WordPress application, we're gonna use a tool WPS Scan because it's built just for WordPress applications and it's so much faster than using any tools like Hydra or anything like that to brute force a login. Let's go ahead and go WPS Scan. We'll go dash u users.txt dash p for our password. We're gonna pull the password from the password file that we were given at the beginning with the clue. And for threads, I'm just gonna give it 60 threads just because that's how I like to give it, just so it's easy. And we need an actual URL too. Let me go ahead and specify the URL. URL http slash slash wordy. There we go. Press enter, give it a second. So yeah, so what this tool right now is gonna do is gonna actually brute force the login credentials for like things such as mark.pk01, all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna let this run in the background. I actually have a scan that's actually been saved with the password. For the sake of time, I could pause the video, but I'm just gonna show you what the output looks like because the scan is gonna take forever. So let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick right here. There we go, WPS credentials right now. There we go, oh, there we go. So now you can see this is the WPS scan that I used before actually starting this video right here. Same thing as you guys seen in the video before. So let's go down here. So now you can see right here, it says username Mark and password help desk 01 has been found. So let's go ahead and save that right now. Let me go over here, go Mark, control down right here. Mark, and then we'll go his help desk 01. There we go. And we'll say that is WPS login creds. Perfect, perfect. Save that right there. So let's go ahead and log into WordPress now. Go to WordPress, go to Wordy, I'll go to right, login.php, WP, login.php, there we go. Go ahead and log in right here. Login as user Mark, we'll go over here, password help desk K01, or just 01, because K is already in help desk. So now we're logged into the WordPress application, that's awesome. We can see over here with dashboard, posts, comments, users, tools, and activity monitor. Activity monitor is an actually a plugin that they have. So let's go ahead and pass it to search point to see if there's any actual exploits out there for that. Let's go control L, 
search exploit. And we'll go, what is it, activity monitor? Activity monitor, see what they have out there. So now search boy is giving some results back. We see WordPress plugin, plain view, activity monitor, awesome, authenticated command injection. So we are authenticated, so we can probably use this exploit. And we see it's gonna be HTML, so it's an HTML file. Let's go ahead and download this right now. Search boy dash M, it's gonna be 45274 yeah, 45274.html. Go ahead and download that. And let's go ahead and look at it in Sublime, 45. So right now we see the exploit right here. It's pretty cool. It's a bunch of comments right now. But let's go ahead and go down here. We're gonna change this localhost to Wordy. Change the IP address to 80. You're gonna change this, take this out right here because we don't need that. We'll go ahead and change the actual IP address too. So it's IP address for our machine. There we go. And then there we go like that. And change this right here to port 333 just because that's what I like using. There we go, save that right there. So you can see this right here and it says input type submit value submit request. So this is the button that we're gonna actually pull up. We'll pull this up in a web browser in a second. Go over here, start this netcat listener, LVMP333. There we go. Let's go ahead and go back. Got that right there. Go pull this up. File to do slash. Oh, enter file right. File slash. There we go. Home slash Cali. I'm gonna type it all wrong. File slash home. There we go. Slash Cali slash and we got it right there dc6 perfect perfect so now you see that submit request button right there press submit request and it's just going to keep on loading it's actually going to go anywhere that means we've caught our reverse show and we can confirm that by right here so let's go ahead and upgrade this to privilege tty show so you can do all the beautiful things like tab auto complete all that fun stuff right there go ahead and copy this over right here control c there we go control v perfect give it a second okay perfect perfect control z then we're gonna press set raw echo into that right raw base echo there we go, FG to bring that session back to us now. Do a simple ls-la, perfect. So now we can do things like tab autocomplete and all that cool stuff. So let's go ahead and see what's in the home directory, ls, we'll do ls-la slash home, slash home, there we go. So we see have the users Graham, Jens, Mark, and Sarah. Let's go ahead and see what's in Mark's directory because that's who we log into in WordPress. So let's go ls slash Mark, ls, there we go, slash home slash Mark, there we go. So now we see if stuff as a directory in there. So let's go ahead and see what's in the stuff directory right there stuff so now we see things to do.txt let's go ahead and see what's in things to do.txt go ahead and cat that out real quick cat there we go and slash things to do.txt so it says things to do restore full functionality to the hyperdrive need to speak to gins buy present for sarah's farewell party add new user gram and then a password done so that means that's been done that's probably going to be an ssh password because we're already logged into wordpress so let's go ahead and note that down as a potential username i mean potential password my bad to log into ssh we're going to try that real quick there we go go over here go gram here we go this right there go ssh cred save that right there perfect let's go ahead and log in control shift there we go ssh gram 192.168.0.177 press enter password there we go so now we're logged in as a user gram on this machine let's go ahead and sudo dash l there we go press enter so it says gins so you don't need a password in order to become the user gin on this machine if we run the backup.sh file so let's go actually see what this backup.sh file is go ls slash la oh I, sorry less go ahead and copy this over right here control shift c control v there we go, give it a space in between. There we go. So it says bin slash bash tar czf. So this right here doesn't matter to us at all what it says in there. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually modify this. So let's go ahead and see ls dash la. There we go. So you see it says dins as people, I'm sorry, devs as people that can modify this group. Let's go ahead and see if we're in the devs group pressing ID. We see we are in the devs group as a user gram. So let's go ahead and use vim to modify this script right here. Vim right there. We'll do vi actually since vim is not present on this machine. Vim, there we go. Let's go right here. We're just going to press delete, 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 delete. Get that all out of the way right there. There we go. Press I so I can actually enter commands in there. Slash bin, slash bash. There we go. And press escape, then WQ. Now I'm out of there. And now all I need to do right now is just actually sudo. I'm going to do dash U, I believe. Make sure. Sudo dash U. And then we'll go gins right here. And then dot slash backups dot sh. There we go. Dot sh. There we go. Password for gram. Enter that right there. Give it a second. Oh, I entered the wrong password for Graham. So let me go make sure I got that copied right correctly. There we go. Oh, backups.sh is not found because we're actually not in there. Let's go ahead and see the, there we go, slash home, slash gins, there we go. So now we can actually exploit this right now. Here we go, sudo. So now you can see we went from gram to the user gin because we exported that, we spawned spawn into the bash shell. So that's awesome. So now let's go sudo dash L again. So now in order to become root on this machine, all we need to do is exploit the in-map vulnerability on this machine. So let's go ahead and go to GTFO bins real quick. 
GTFO bins, perfect, perfect. We're gonna go type in inmap right here. Oh, type it in right, inmap right there. There we go. Let's go look for sudo. So it says sudo right here. Let's go down here. So input echo is disabled. We're gonna use one right here. So first we're gonna do is copy this over. Go back over here, control shift V. There we go, one more. There we go. Control shift V again, perfect, perfect. Then go control C. Perfect, give it a second. So now it's starting in map and we can see the hashtag right here, which if you've been with me for long enough, you know the hashtag means we're probably gonna be root on this machine. So let's go ahead and hit enter, who am I? So I enter who am I and you see root, but you can't actually see the command that I entered. So let's go ahead and just get a privileged shell just real quick. Just a small one, nothing too crazy. Control shift C, there we go. So now you can see me enter who am I right here. So now we're just gonna go ls slash root. There we go, the flag is right there. Let's go less slash root slash the flag dot txt. There we go. Awesome, so this machine has been completed. Again, another big shout out to DCAU7. These machines have been awesome this series. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and also turn on post notifications, subscribe to this channel, and also comment down below anything I could have done better, anything you liked about this machine. That's all I gotta say for you guys. Hack all the things, have a good day, bye bye.